Hi everyone, uh, we have been joined by the Budweiser man of the match for today, Andre Frank uh, Zambo Angisa, and uh, we have uh, remote interpretation, so the channels English Channel 1, Russian Channel 2, and French Channel 3. And uh, the first question I will ask is uh, for Andre Frank. Uh, share with us your thoughts about today's uh, match and what you thought the uh, turning point was. Bonsoir à tous. Good evening to all. Pour moi, honnêtement. Honestly, for me, the match was played on details. I can't tell you which moment was the key moment of the match. Uh, we've had uh, opportunities, so did they, and then luck wasn't on our side. So it's part of football. It's part of football, and we live with it. How did you see the uh, build-up to... Uh, Australia's goal, and is there any sense of uh, regret with the team? Well, first of all, on the video, we saw that uh, their uh, goalkeeper was playing very forward. So when I saw the ball come, I just had to touch it, and uh, it was uh, taken on the counterfoot. Okay, do we have any questions from the floor? We can take two. No? Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, I do beg your pardon. David. Hi, Andre. Um, how disappointing is that? And does that feel like a missed opportunity to maybe get a win and really put pressure in the last game to try and get into the semi finals? Frankly, yes, I am quite disappointed because we had the means to win that match. We had started well, we opened the score, and then there was equalisation. It's our fault. Nothing is over because we still have a match to play against Germany. It is true that there will be some pressure, pressure, but that's why we do this job, and we're doing everything to, or we will do everything to win against Germany. Final one here. Did you expect the public to support your team so happily? Well, I must say that during this whole competition, we saw that uh, there was a very warm welcome by the supporters. Uh, we are far away from uh, home, but we do feel at home. So I would like to uh, congratulate all the spectators who came here today because it was a great pleasure for us. We gave everything. We gave them some pleasure, and they gave it back to us. So thank you very much. It was a great pleasure. Okay, merci beaucoup, André. And we will have uh, the two coaches come in very shortly. Thank you.
Okay, first of all, Ange, uh, share, us, uh, share with us your uh, views of uh, what we just witnessed today. Uh, yeah, I guess, um, you know, it was, uh, uh, I guess, a, a pretty even game. I thought we controlled, you know, large parts of it. They were obviously very dangerous on transition and, uh, you know, a couple of times uh, got in behind us. But you know, overall, I thought we worked our way into the game really well and, and controlled large parts of it. Um, yeah, we, we, we lacked a little bit of composure in the final third to, to get some meaningful chances, but we still had, you know, a couple of very good chances, particularly early in the first, uh, second half. Um, and credit to the players, they, they worked awfully hard. You know, we we were obviously uh, out on our feet at the end of the game, but they kept going forward. You know, we had a day's less rest than the opposition. And uh, in the end, uh, the fact that our boys are still going is a uh, credit to them. OK, let's take some questions. Remember, raise your hand, wait for the microphone to come to you, introduce yourself and who you work for, and then ask your question. First here, and then... Uh, ben McKay, Australian Associated Press. Uh, um, it's not the result you wanted, but are you seeing the, the sort of progression in the systems that you're after, which is the twin goal of this tournament? Yeah, look, I, I think you know, we, we've certainly, um, you know, in both games, um, you know, performed in the manner we want to. And look, we're, we're playing against the very best here, and that's, that's I guess, uh, part of the experience. And, uh, you know, we were disappointed with the goal we conceded. We just... Um, you know, we're still, unfortunately, um, having little lapses that are costing us, and, and that's what the very best do. And uh, like I said, aside from that, um, I thought um, in a game where we kind of knew what their threats were and, and what we could do, uh, I thought for large parts of it, um, you know, we dictated the game. And um, there's certainly um, progression in there. And, and again, they didn't give up. I mean, they, I mean, there's a real spirit in the team. I mean, it was the same. You know, uh, against Germany after a poor first half, it was a great reaction second half. And again, you know, we get a sucker punch a minute before half time. Very easy for us to come in deflated. But like I said, I think we had two really good chances early on in the first half. We pressed forward and, and we got the goal I thought we deserved. Kieran Pender from The Guardian. Ange, the Chile game is now a must win and even that might not see the team progress. Uh, what are your thoughts looking forward to that game? They're all games that we want to win, so nothing really changes. And um, you know, uh, from our perspective, uh, it's another challenge against the top nation, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll try and take the games to them, and, and obviously, uh, um, you know, try and get maximum points out of it. Uh, uh, nothing really changes from that perspective. Uh, you know, we're still alive in the tournament. Uh, and, you know, the point tonight keeps us in it, and uh, we'll have an opportunity to to get three points in the final game and see how far that takes us. Mel McLaughlin, Optus Sport. Uh, Ange, can you just um, talk through a couple of individual performances that you might want to single out? And for example, Alex Gersbach, um, the youngster, how you think he performed on this stage? Yeah, I thought Alex was excellent. Um, you know, we've got some good young players coming through. And again, as I said before the first game, um, it, it's a young team. I mean. These guys will be together for the next, you know, four to six years. Um, and, you know, Alex Aiden, Krustich, who, who are the younger ones, and there's a couple outside this group who are younger, um, you know, we'll keep exposing them at this level. And, uh, yeah, Alex coped really well tonight. I mean, that's his first game for a while for us, um, up against some very good opposition. Uh, and, uh, he, you know, he's got a great technique, he's got great composure, he did well for the penalty. and. He put a couple of balls in. I mean, there was one in the first half just over uh, you know, Tommy Urich's head that uh, you know, could have got a great goal after a great move. So he was he was good tonight. Graham Davis from Inside Sport Australia. And uh, down that left side, you mentioned goes back already. Uh, you had a lot of penet or the opposition had a lot of penetration. Uh, in the first game, and there's again quite a lot tonight. How would you compare the two performances down that particular area of the park? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, uh, like I said, they're, they're, they're a very, you know, very effective team in transition, and they're going to catch you a couple of times. I don't think it was that often. I mean, they did get through in transition after we'd lost the ball two or three times, and you're never going to stop that. But we, we defended really well, we scrambled really well. I mean, I'm trying to think of 
you know, a save that Matty Ryan made of significance. And yeah, they had a lot of balls and you know some half chances, but we defended pretty desperately in the end. And uh, I thought our defending uh, was very solid tonight uh, from the whole team, you know, starting with the front three. Um, I said the goal was disappointing because uh, just before half time we, we probably uh, you know just relax for a moment and at this level you get punished and and uh, we did. Any further questions? If not, Ange Postacoglu, thank you. Guys, yeah. Oh, jump in, guys. Ben McKay from Australian Sosa Press. I mean, where do you want to see? The growth. Where do you need to see improvement if you're going to get three points against Chile, which is what we need now? Just keep pushing on. I mean, I, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. I mean, like I said, we're playing against the world's best um, and we haven't sat back for a moment. That's all I want to see. And we won't keep sitting back and we'll get to where we want to get to and we'll, uh, you know, we'll be relentless in that. Um, you know, both games we've we're prepared to be on the front foot. Both games, we're prepared to take it to the opposition, and that's what we'll do against Chile as well. And Kieran from the Guardian again. Cameroon were a very physical team, and there were a number of perhaps fouls that weren't called by the referee. And then there was an opportunity for a penalty in the early in the first half that also wasn't called. Did you have any qualms with the referee's performance? No, the only thing I'll say is that, you know, with the VAR, they did say to us, you know, stuff like holding in the box is is going to be stamped down. And I thought there was a bit of that tonight. And, you know, um, they're either going to use it or they don't. Um, I guess they've chosen not to so far, but I'd hate to be the first team that, to get something against you from, from that kind of incident because there was at least a couple tonight I saw on corners and uh, where they had a pretty good hold on our players. And... Um, you know, that was one of the things that was mentioned to us before the tournament that the VAR would be used for. So, as I said, um, I guess so far they've been consistent. They haven't pulled any in, but if they do, um, yeah, it'll be. Uh, I guess it'll be an interesting to see how it's, uh, you know, how it's seen through. Okay, let's finish here. As was mentioned, uh, Steve Wilson, uh, News Corp Australia. As was mentioned, uh, even a victory over Chile might not uh, progress you to the semi-finals. Does that match now become as much about getting some things right and getting confidence up, heading towards the Japan fixture, or do you stay firmly focused on this competition until you leave Russia? Oh, I think we we stay focused on this competition. That's why we're here. Like I said, it's a bit of a test run for what happens in 12 months' time, and you know we've got a real. Well, we've got a real challenging group, and that's why we came here to to to, to test ourselves, um, and we'll continue to do that. And I, I think, regardless, we'll come out of it. Um, you know, uh, if we get a good performance in the last game, um, with plenty of confidence. You know, we've played three of the world's best sides, and uh, you know, so far after two games, uh, you know, like I said, we had a probably a poor half against uh, Germany, but the rest of it, we've we've been good. Ange Postacoglu this time, Thanks. thank you very much. Hugo Bros, uh, coach of Cameroon, welcome to this press conference. Uh, first question, uh, can you please share with us your thoughts of uh, today's game? Um, as I said before the game, um, this opponent is a, is a very tough opponent and uh, it's not so easy to play against them. But my team uh, did a very good game. We had uh, a lot of chances. Uh, we scored once, but uh, in the second half we had to score a second time, and then I think uh, the game is finished and we win the game. 
Um, now we get a penalty, and uh, therefore the result is not so good for us. Uh, but but still, there's a little chance. We have to wait the result of this evening. Let's take some questions. In front. Hi, uh, Sam Inside World Football. Could you please elaborate a little bit about the performance of Vincent Abubakar, who got quite a number of chances in the second half, and how frustrating was it that he missed that big opportunity just minutes before Australia equalised? This, uh, this is the life of, uh, of a front player. <laughs> sometimes you score the goals with your eyes closed, and sometimes you miss chances that you can't miss. And today he was a little bit unlucky in the game. He had uh, two, three good chances, but didn't score. That can happen. It's a pity for us, surely, because when he had scored once, and certainly the occasion he had in the second half, free goal, um, then the game is finished and we win the game. But again, uh, that can happen. It's a pity for us that it happens today. Uh, ben McKay, Australian Associated Press. The shot count was 19 to 5. Did you, did you think you were clearly the better team today? Can you repeat, please? Because it didn't. The shots count was 19 to 5 in favour of your team. Did you think you were clearly the better team? This, uh, I think the statistics uh, said everything about the game. Um, when you see this, then you have always uh, to win the game. This for sure. And I think we have always, we had always win the game today. Because uh, we were... Uh, on the 90 minutes, a better team. We had the best chances. Um, and then you have to win it. Uh, when you get no chances, OK, you have to score for uh, to win the game. Um, the chances were there, but we didn't score. And then uh, you can't win the game. Question here. Um, Mr. Bruce, Graham Dunbar from the Associated Press. There was real warmth from the crowd uh, towards your team today. Was that a, a pleasant surprise or do you think a fair reward for maybe a team showing more adventure, more attacking spirit, more pace? But uh, already against, uh, against Chile, uh, I think the Russian people were with us and uh, today uh, we get the same uh, support. I think uh, they like uh, the way we are playing. I think uh, they like uh, the team on the pitch who is uh, fighting for every ball and uh, is playing at, uh, at moments good football. So, uh, therefore, I think they, they choose our, our side today. And uh, I'm very happy, and also the players, we're very happy that uh, the Russian people were behind us today. David from SNTV, um, commiserations coach. Um, it's a really young side, and I'm just wondering in terms of the development of the team, do you think in 12 months' time at the World Cup this would be a game with those chances that you created that you would have won? <laughs> uh, I think you, you know our situation in, uh, in the qualification games of, uh, for the World Cup. Uh, today, it's not a good situation. Uh, we are four points behind in, of, uh, of Nigeria. So uh, we play two times in September against Nigeria. So. Uh, we will have to win it. Otherwise, uh, I think our chances will uh, will not so high to, to be in Russia again next year. But um, again, I see my team uh, growing. And, and therefore, I said also before uh, this tournament, um, it's important to have good results, but uh, it's more important to do uh, good performances. And uh, also against Chile and today, we had a good performance, uh, but this is something um, which is very important. That is, you have to score goals. And uh, certainly on a tour tournament like this, you play against good teams. When you get those chances, you have to score it. And we didn't do it today. Front row, and then the gentleman in the soccer is top. 
Um, yes, hello, Barry Whelan, uh, German press agency. You're now playing Germany, the world champions, a game you have to win. Can you just um, maybe give your thoughts uh, a little bit on, on that challenge you're now facing? Well, I think the most important thing will be what uh, will be the result uh, this, this evening uh, in the game uh, Germany against Chile. And uh, if this uh, result is positive for us, then uh, we will try to take our chances on uh, on uh, Sunday against against Germany. Uh, um, this is very important for us, um, that the result is positive for us then. Uh, because if you have to play against Germany next Sunday and uh, it's over before the game, then it's uh, not so easy to motivate players. Um, but we still haven't won here on this tournament. So I think uh, that can be the best motivation for us on Sunday. David Yenge, je... David Tienguet, je travaille pour David le quotidien Le Jour. Au Cameroun, uh, je vais poser ma question en français ou mes questions. Monsieur Hugo Bros, combien de joueurs avez-vous exactement On a l'impression, vous nous avez dit au premier match que vous n'avez pas vu le moyen de changer un joueur parmi les 11 alors que certains étaient fatigués. Aujourd'hui encore, on a vu en attendant que le quatrième habit nous montre la plaque pour voir qui va sortir. Les joueurs eux-mêmes hésitent, on ne sait pas, alors que tout le monde sait que votre capitaine ne se porte pas bien. Quel est, euh, pourquoi is le, au moment so, de changer les joueurs qui ne se portent pas bien, vous euh, perdez un peu de temps Deuxième question, j'ai l'impression que euh, avant, il y a un an et demi, vous, en conférence de presse, s'il vous plaît, oui. Une, une, deuxième, une, deuxième, une, question. une deuxième, s'il vous plaît, une deuxième, c'est bien pour mon équipe, question. pour notre équipe. Avant, il y a un an et demi, vous euh, disiez euh, que vous n'avez pas de joueurs pour marquer. Vous étiez très, très remonté en conférence de presse quand vous veniez devant la presse. Aujourd'hui, on a l'impression que vous êtes très content de cette équipe et que vous ne grondez même pas pendant 90 minutes. On n'a pas vu les joueurs euh, être bougés par l'entraîneur. Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans cette, dans cette équipe Est-ce qu'on n'a pas la tête à la Coupe d'Afrique où on l'a gagné on est, on est très content et on vient ici pour faire le faire valoir. Premièrement, je pense que j'ai fait des remplacements aujourd'hui. Je pourquoi vous posez cette question-là so euh, Deuxièmement, question. il ne faut pas faire des changements Secondly, pour faire des changements. Quand vous faites des changements, tu dois être certain que ça va changer. Même, même les changements que j'ai faits, ça n'a rien changé. Donc, euh, encore une fois, je ne comprends pas très bien pourquoi vous posez cette question-là. Et deuxièmement, on cherche, on cherche, on cherche et on continue à chercher. Mais il faut le trouver, hein, le joueur qui marque des buts. Si vous en avez, s'il vous plaît, dites-moi son nom et je vais directement le voir. Ah oui, c'est très, très facile de dire, oui, vous n'avez pas de joueur qui marque. Il faut, il faut le trouver, oui. Il faut le trouver, oui. Et vous ne pensez pas que nous cherchons. Donc, dans ce sens-là, vous devez savoir qu'en Camerounais, que le football camerounais n'est pas si riche pour le moment. Donc, euh, dans ce sens-là, il y a un an, vous n'avez même pas une équipe. Aujourd'hui, vous avez une équipe qui a gagné la Cannes, donc on fait des progressions. Mais vous ne devez pas ça, euh, penser qu'en gagnant la Cannes, que vous avez encore gagné la Coupe des Confédérations, et la saison prochaine ou l'année prochaine, la Coupe du Monde. Ça ne marche pas comme ça. Donc, laisse euh, cette, cette, euh, cette équipe grandir. Laisse cette équipe prendre de, de l'expérience. Et si demain, je trouve euh, un joueur qui marque des buts avec les yeux fermés, il serait dans mon équipe. Il serait dans mon équipe. Il serait dans mon équipe. Je travaille pour le journal La Symbiose. I Alors, work for Mr. SMG Bros, je voudrais savoir si vous Mr. pensez Bros, avoir like aligné votre équipe, la vraie équipe. Est-ce qu'il n'y a pas autre chose à proposer 
Didn't you have something else to ben, suggest? <coughs> vous avez vu le match contre le Chili, well, n'était pas bon. Je pense qu'on a fait un très bon match. Aujourd'hui, on a fait un très bon match well. aussi. Et uh, encore une fois, uh, le fait qu'on a joué match nul, c'est parce qu'on n'a pas marqué des buts. Voilà. C'est la seule raison. Goals, Donc, uh, moi, j'essaie toujours d'avoir uh, la meilleure équipe sur le I terrain. Et deux fois, j'ai eu une bonne équipe sur le terrain. And on both occasions, I've had a good team on the pitch. Two more questions. No? Thomas Chuto pour euh, SFR Sport. Est-ce que vous avez été surpris Sport, par euh, les questions des journalistes quand vous êtes arrivé à la tête euh, de cette sélection Parce que culturellement, ils ont tendance à, à bousculer les, les sélectionneurs et à poser qui ne sont pas forcément en Europe. Je suis habitué à ça. Donc, <laughs> dans ce sens-là, ça c'est le Cameroun. On a fait ça depuis euh, des mois et alors tu gagnes la canne et tout était bon. Been, uh, et maintenant, parce que vous months, perdez contre le Chili, un des meilleures équipes du monde, et vous jouez well, match contre l'Australie, uh, que les questions uh, reviennent. C'est uh, typiquement le Cameroun. Et puis, nous jouons contre l'Australie et nous avons un draw et nous avons ces questions de nouveau. C'est typiquement du Cameroun. Final question, who wishes to take it? If not, okay, Hugo Bros, uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.